Please, hello. How does it look like digestive? Well, first, it goes up into your nose, goes down your windpipe, into your lungs, and then it feeds your cells in your bloodstream. And then it comes back over your nose and snot. Why did he use the bathroom? What? Actually, that crazy man is just full of crap. Pun intended. In reality, food starts at the mouth. Not the nose. Saliva starts breaking down starch and your teeth grind and chew. When you swallow, your food travels to the esophagus, but don't worry, a little flap called the epiglottis prevents the food from going down the windpipe. Strong muscles in the walls of the esophagus move the food down into the stomach in 4 to 8 seconds. The stomach, a stretchy sack shaped like a J, stores the food you've eaten, breaks down the food into a liquidy mixture using its strong muscles and gastric acid, and slowly deposits this mixture into the small intestine. Next on the digestion tract is the small intestine, which stretches out to be about 22 feet long. The small intestine breaks down the food into even smaller pieces using bile from the liver and gallbladder and pancreatic enzymes from the pancreas. Veli and microvilli are used to absorb nutrients. The large intestine, where the food travels next, absorbs the remaining water and channels the waste to the anus. This process takes 32 hours. That's 32 freaking hours. And after that, well, just check out your next bathroom trip. Oh crap.